you will have learned reward and return. The next concept is value functions. We have defined discounted return and denoted by ut. It is the weighted sum of all the rewards in the future. Why do we need to define the return ut? ut is the weighted sum of all the future rewards. The agent's goal is to make ut as big as possible. Mario's goal is to collect coins while avoiding enemies. Assume I knew ut. Then, I would know whether Mario is close to win or lose. Unfortunately, at time t, the return ut is a random variable. We don't know its value. Just like before tossing a coin, I don't know whether the outcome will be head or tail. We don't know ut. Then how can we use ut to evaluate the current situation? The solution is to take the expectation of ut. By integrating out the randomness in ut, we will obtain a real number that reflects how good the current situation is. Denote the obtained real number by q pi of stat. Q pi is called the action value function. Q pi depends on the current state st and the current action at. Q pi reflects how good the current situation is. Q pi tells us whether Mario is close to winning or losing the game. The expectation of return ut eliminates the randomness in ut. The randomness in ut is from all the states and actions since time t. At time t, the states from st to sn are unknown, and the actions from at to an are also unknown. Treat the current state st and the current action at as observed values. Pretend that st and at are not random. The action value function is a conditional expectation. We take the expectation of ut given the observed values of st and at. Aside from st and at, the return ut depends also on states st plus 1 to sn and actions at plus 1 to an. Regard st plus 1 to sn and at plus 1 to an as random variables to be integrated out. The expectation is taken with respect to states st plus 1 to sn and actions at plus 1 to an. The expectation eliminates the random variables. To compute the expectation, we need the probability density functions of s and a. The environment generates a new state by randomly sampling from the state transition function. p is the probability density function of a state. The actions are randomly sampled from the policy function pi. Thus, the resulting expectation depends on pi. If the policy function pi changes, the outcome of expectation would be different. That's why the action value function q pi depends on the policy function pi. With different policy functions, q pi would be different. I gave an intuitive explanation. Suppose I was playing Super Mario. At time t, I handle the game to a professional player. The professional player's policy pi is much better than my policy. Then q pi will increase a lot because the professional player is expected to get much higher rewards. This example means that q pi depends on the policy pi. With a better policy pi, q pi becomes bigger. q pi depends on the current state st and action at. This is because we regard st and at as observed values. They are not eliminated by the expectation. q pi tells that given the current state st, how good it is to take action at. Sometimes, q pi is called critic because q pi evaluates how good the agent's performance is. In sum, the action value function q pi depends on the current state st, the current action at, the policy function pi, and the state transition function p. q pi is independent of the future states st plus 1 to sn 
and the future actions 80 plus 1 to an. The future states and the future actions are eliminated by the expectation. The last concept, state value function v pi. v pi is the expectation of the action value function q pi. q pi depends on state s, action a, and policy pi. We can treat action a as a random variable and take the expectation with respect to a. In this way, action a is eliminated. Let the resulting function be v pi. It is known as the state value function. It depends on state s and policy pi. It's independent of action a. What is the physical meaning of v pi? Given the policy pi, v pi indicates how good the current state is. For example, when playing Super Mario, v pi can tell whether I'm close to winning or losing the game. Here, the expectation is taken with respect to action A. The probability density function of A is the policy function pi. By definition, the expectation can be written as sum or integral. If actions are discrete, for example, left, right, and up, then the expectation is the sum. Multiply policy function pi by the action value function q pi, and take the sum over all the possible actions A. Sometimes, the action A is a continuous variable. For example, in self-driving cars, the angle of the steering wheel is a continuous action. Its values can be angles in a certain range. For continuous variables, the expectation is the integral. In sum, we have studied two types of value functions. The first is the action value function q pi. It depends on state s, action a, and policy pi. It is the conditional expectation of the return ut. The expectation is taken with respect to all the future states and actions except st and at. Given policy pi, q pi of s a evaluates how good it is for an agent to pick action a while being in state s. q pi indicates how good an action is. That is why q pi is called the action value function. We have also learned state value function v pi. It is the expectation of q pi. It further integrates out action a. So v pi is independent of a. v pi depends only on state s and policy pi. For fixed policy pi, v pi of s evaluates how good the situation is in state s. It can tell us how likely we are going to win. We can further integrate out the random variable s. Then the result depends only on the policy pi. It can evaluate how good the policy pi is. It's the objective function of policy-based learning. Policy-based learning basically means maximizing the expectation with respect to policy pi. The expectation will be used throughout policy-based learning.